Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel, and the other day, Fox News got absolutely exposed for their lies and their hypocrisy. So for some backstory, Dominion Voting Systems is suing Fox News for $1.6 billion for defamation, and they are alleging that Fox News and its hosts defamed the company in the wake of the 2020 election. I mean, as we all saw, Fox News pushed Donald Trump's claims of a fraudulent election, but they specifically went after Dominion Voting Machines, saying that the machines were corrupt, saying that they were hacked by foreign nations, even saying that they were rigged in favor of Joe Biden. And now Fox News is paying the ultimate price for those claims, and now they're getting sued for well over a billion dollars. But in a court filing made by Dominion the other day, it's been revealed that the Fox News hosts themselves knew that the claims of election fraud were fake, yet they pushed them on their shows anyway. Dominion has text messages from Tucker Carlson, Sean Hannity, Laura Ingram, all acknowledging that the claims of election fraud were false, yet they continue to push them and talk about them. Now, this is especially bad for Fox News because in order to prove defamation, you would have to prove that Fox News and their hosts knew that their claims were false, yet said them anyway. And these text messages basically prove that. But recently, MSNBC host Mehdi Hassan absolutely destroyed these Fox News hosts. And what he did was put side by side what they said on their shows and what they said in private text messages. It is a must-see clip. The comparison is shocking. Take a look at it. Today, the sheer extent of Fox's hypocrisy is laid bare in the pages of that new legal filing in the Dominion lawsuit. And that hypocrisy is clearer than it has ever been. But to understand it, you really need to hear what the stars of the Republican Party, sorry, the stars of Fox were saying on TV versus what they were telling each other behind the scenes. Take the 8 p.m. host who is always concerned about conservatives losing their jobs for speaking their minds. Say one wrong thing and you're done. That's called cancel culture. Up next, cancel culture has become a global epidemic. Cancel culture, it is happening everywhere. At some point it will end. And I do think that the people who stood up in the face of it will get the credit they deserve. But as the filing makes clear, Tucker wasn't so concerned with cancel culture when the message contradicted the lies he was spewing on behalf of Donald Trump. When a Fox journalist publicly fact-checked Trump's big lie, the one that the network was pushing, quote, Carlson told Hannity, please get her fired. Seriously, what the F? I'm actually shocked it needs to stop immediately, like tonight. Trying to get someone fired for tweeting a fact that you don't like? Sounds like cancel culture to me. But it wasn't just Carlson who didn't practice what he preached. Here's Fox host Laura Ingram platforming the pro-Trump coup lawyer, Sidney Powell, in the days after the 2020 election. And we should note, everything you're going to hear her say is a lie. We have demonstrable statistical and mathematical and computer evidence of hundreds of thousands of votes being injected into the computer systems repeatedly that simply don't, don't mu pass muster. The Department of Justice and the FBI really need to get after it right now and investigate all the reports of fraud. There are hundreds of them. Yeah, well, I hope uh, Attorney General Barr is doing that. But behind the scenes, Ingram texted her colleagues, quote, Sidney Powell is a bit nuts. Later adding, quote, Sidney is a complete nut. No one will work with her. Powell also appeared on Sean Hannity's show again to spread flat out lies about the voting machines. We've got evidence of corruption all across the country in countless districts. The machine ran an algorithm that shaved votes from Trump and awarded them to Biden. They used the machines to trash large batches of votes that should have been awarded to President Trump. And they used the machine to inject and add massive quantities of votes for Mr. Biden. The only reason I we thought, really found thought... out how bad it was. I thought Democrats told us that we like whistleblowers. You're saying that these people can't talk because they're going to lose their job. Hannity later testified, quote, that whole narrative that Sidney was pushing, I did not believe it for one second. But Sidney Powell wasn't the only pro-Trump lawyer who made an appearance on Hannity's show. He had Rudy Giuliani on multiple times to spread the big lie. Here to provide even more updates on the Trump campaign's efforts to restore election integrity, the attorney for the president, Rudy Giuliani. He joins us now for an exclusive interview, uh, former New York City mayor, President Trump's attorney. Mr. Mayor, always good to see you. Thank you. Here with reaction uh, is more. But the president's attorney, Rudy Giuliani. But when the cameras weren't rolling and Hannity's TV audience wasn't listening, he said, quote, 
Rudy is acting like an insane person and referred to both Giuliani and Sidney Powell as, quote, effing lunatics. Keep in mind, the next time you hear some nonsense from the mouth of a Fox host, just how little respect they must have for their own audience. To push something publicly that they are more than willing to admit to one another is nonsense. But only, only when the cameras are off. I mean, how about that? It just completely 100% proves that Fox News is full of frauds and liars. I mean, I'd have to believe that even the strongest Fox News watcher might take pause after seeing these text messages. Like these hosts are lying to their viewers' face. They have absolutely no respect for them. They endorse these people publicly like Sidney Powell and Rudy Giuliani, but in private, they were slamming them and their crazy conspiracy theories. Now, we've all known that Fox News has been a garbage entertainment channel for a long time now, but man, this is just a new low. And how about Laura Ingram having Sidney Powell on her show to spread her BS lies and then in private text messages calling her a complete nut? And what about Sean Hannity having Rudy Giuliani on his show to spread his false claims of election fraud, but then in private calling him a crazy person? And that's not even all of the text messages. There are more in Dominion's filing, and they probably have more that they haven't revealed yet. But leave it to Fox News to be the longest running channel full of completely horrible people. If I were a host at Fox News, News or Rupert Murdoch, the owner of Fox News, I would be incredibly scared of Dominion winning this lawsuit. And if they do win and they get $1.6 billion, how is Fox News going to be able to recover from that? Given that Fox News has been exposed multiple times for their lies and their hypocrisy, it might not be the worst thing in the world if they don't recover from this lawsuit. Regardless, folks, that's going to wrap up the video for today. I just love the Mehdi Hassan's analysis of this whole thing. Just putting the messages side by side putting what they said publicly and their messages side by side really puts it into perspective. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I would really appreciate if you did all of those things. And once again, whether you agree with me or you disagree with me, have a great rest of your day, and I hope to see you folks soon.